Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. It's been a while for many of you who have been following me or well, more likely used to be following me. Uh, but anyway, we've got a tutorial for you guys and some of you may know that I used I made a video releasing some uh, social media icons and these included Ligon similar to these as you can see here. Uh, we had Twitter, Facebook and I believe the other one uh, was Machinima. Now, obviously there are loads and loads of social different websites out there and obviously I only covered three and I looked in the comments and some people wanted different ones like Justin TV and YouTube and whatever uh, so instead of actually me releasing them I thought I'd make a tutorial on them so you can do whatever you want and you know you can use them on a website you can put different buttons you can put words on them you can do whatever you want with them and I'm going to show you different styles it's not going to be uh, very linear uh, for example I'm not going to show you how to make something like this you know that you can do whatever you want with it and create a different kind of look uh, like this obviously they've both got similar features about them uh, but without further ado we'll go ahead and get started so I'm just going to go and make a new document 800 by 800 is fine and I'll just call this um, twit logo tut that'll do and to go to another layer we'll make a new layer and this is going to be our base circle now obviously to make the old 3D look we're going to be going into the whole uh, blending modes of it and obviously we use the colour white which is not ideal uh, but we're going to go and double click on this and we'll just quickly go to gradient overlay and obviously want to get the nice kind of radial effect so we'll go radial I'll reverse it as well so you can kind of get to grips quicker and obviously the black is going to be a nice kind of reasonably dark purplish kind of pink and in the middle we're going to have more of a light pink like so obviously you can change these later on uh, this is looking okay maybe a bit more pinky for this purple so just move up here like so as I said you can change these later on so we're not too fussed with that about now so obviously we've got a sphere and this is all right for a background but to immediately get the whole 3d look you know you want to make it gonna make a new layer okay I'm still getting text if you apologies if you hear that and got white as the foreground color and we've got an ellipsis selected so I'll go ahead and drag one out reasonably sized obviously I'll show you how I want it to fit on mine about like that maybe just a little bit further down like so and a little bit wider and just kind of even up in the middle like so so that's looking good as a part of an orb but obviously you want to make a little bit of a gradient so we'll just go ahead and add a layer mask go to the gradient tool make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black or vice versa it doesn't really matter and we'll just simply go ahead and drag down from the top make sure you hold shift just to keep it in proportions and keep the ratio and so there you see you've got a nice immediate kind of glow and you can kind of get the whole three this and the whole studio kind of look on the button immediately uh, we're going to tone this down from 100 to about 60 yet again all these values you can change at a later stage uh, but that is looking nice so far. So we're just going to go ahead and rename these layers for future purposes when you go to add them. So we're going to go call this a base and this layer mask called uh, top gloss. Obviously you can call them whatever floats your boat really. And so we've got the Twitter logo here. I'm going to be giving a tutorial on Twitter simply. I've just downloaded this from Google and just typed in Twitter logo. And I'm going to copy and make sure I go to the magic wand and select all of this bird. And then go command C, control C or just copy copy merge whatever so go ahead make a new layer and we're going to drag this under the gloss because you don't want it to be affected by the gloss because obviously this is beneath it it's submerged within the button uh, so we'll just go ahead and control v and obviously i used a very very large twitter logo so it's gonna have to scale it down ginormously scale it down ginormously that doesn't really work because that is uh, contradicting itself but yeah either way i'm going to scale it down somewhere like that that's looking good. Okay, so still get sorry about that again. And we'll go ahead and add a few in saturation to this layer. Make sure you click this uh, black over black and white circles here. So that means it'll affect just the layer below and not all of them. So which in this case is the Twitter logo. So we're just going to go ahead and lower the lightness all the way down. Well, not all the way down uh, to something reasonably low and change the saturation to a kind of purpley kind of color. You still want to keep it quite tasteful. <coughs> apologies so maybe like a nice purpley color like so uh, but then so obviously it stands out from the actual button itself so that's looking good obviously to give uh, the 3d effect to make it look like it's actually within the button which kind of furthers the whole 3d studio look of the whole uh, icon we're just going to double click on here and we'll just add an inner glow and we'll change the blend mode to normal 
and the color to black like so you can maybe just increase the size just a tad and obviously this is good but obviously light usually come from one direction so just to add to this uh, we will have an inner shadow as well and we'll just increase the size like so about 27 ish will do and increase the distance just a bit okay that's looking good right now again obviously I've said that twice now before you can change these uh, as you will at a later stage and one final thing I actually like to do on this layer, just forgot there, is kind of add like a white trim around the outside. It makes it look like, uh, again, adds to the effect of the 3D. So I've got drop shadow, we'll go blend mode to overlay. Make sure you've got the color on white, like so. And we'll simply tone down the size to zero and the distance to about two. Obviously, if you can see that just there, it kind of makes it look a lot more sleek and you can add this to whatever you want whatever kind of effect you're going for i think two looks the most tasteful uh, it stands out but not too stand out if, if you kind of get what i mean uh so that as it is that is looking good obviously this is the kind of thing that we are going for so immediately we've got some you see we've got some more shadows around the outside so we'll go ahead and go to the layer styles again of uh, not the twitter logo the base so we'll go ahead and add an inner glow again change the color to normal and the color to black I meant the blend mode to normal apologies yet again so increase the size like so that'll do and maybe just make an outer glow as well in fact I'll we'll leave the outer glow for the time being okay so that's looking good and obviously we're gonna have some uh, reflections down here coming across so we're going to make a new layer above the base layer. Again, we want this to be below the Twitter logo uh, because, again, it, it's, it's just the way that the whole lighting uh, scenario works. So we're going to just go to the pen tool. And I'm going to go just a little bit above halfway and then to about one third of the way up and just drag until you get that quite a nice, tasteful curve. Uh, that'll do me nicely. Not too fussed about this bit personally. Uh, not now, anyway, but we'll finish up the path and we'll just go to fill path and we'll fill it in with a white and you might as well just delete the path while we're there and obviously if you lower the opacity you will see that you've got a nice tasteful uh, kind of reflection going on so you obviously want two of these so you just want to duplicate it by clicking command j or control j or by dragging it down into a new layer icon down here and obviously you go to edit transform and we'll try and uh, flip it horizontally like so now just maybe just match it up a little bit and there we go there we go immediately we've got some really nice reflections and the whole icon is really coming along so we'll add the outer glow now now the way I actually done this it was the easy way but um, what you're gonna have to do is if I, you notice here if I go to outer glow and a blend mode to normal and black as soon as you increase it, you'll see the white along the outside coming along here. Uh, you can just use the eraser tool and get rid of this. It's not a big deal, uh, but it does save a lot of time in the process. Not the most professional, admittedly, uh, but it gets the job done. And the overall design, as long as you get there, I don't think it really matters. Uh, so that's looking good. Obviously, we're going to add one more final bit of gloss to this bird, I think. So we'll make a new layer. And I'm going to go to the pen tool. And I'm going to drag from down here to about here. That's looking good and again we'll just connect it up we want this area of the top left of the twitter logo uh to be kind of have reflection so a lighter purple as it will so again we'll just fill this with a white and then delete the path lower the opacity and there we go but obviously we'll put this just above the hue and saturation uh, maybe make it overlay should you will there we go that's looking a lot more tasteful anyway and we'll turn it down to about 25 like so in fact I'll tr if I can move it over yeah just so it's more away and more realistic as well and one final thing is you see is in this logo it's got some sort of a uh, little spirally kind of pattern in the background which really does make it you see without it it kind of looks a little bit lost and a little bit uh, bland so I've got a few brushes I've tried many just kind of any kind of spiral brushes I'm not too sure what ones I'm using right now does it say it doesn't say uh, but I use these brushes. I think it's stars I'll try and find it stars blinks and that final word and it's one down here uh, I've just gone and lost it so but any of these you know they all look pretty good 
and if you find them you can just add them on like so that's not the one I did see it there we go it's this one just here and we'll go ahead and increase the size we did use about 800 uh, 800 by 800 size so about six seven hundred should do um, just a little bit I'll type in 750 and just whack it in there now that's good obviously it goes over the side as well a little bit which is okay and we'll go ahead and make this overlay like so maybe just turn it down a little bit to about 85 percent there we go now that's looking really good you've got some kind of shining coming in from the background which the overlay effects brings uh, obviously because it's lighter in the middle with the radiant uh, that we've done in the middle so we'll go ahead and add a bevel emboss to the base obviously you can play around with this to however you will I just turn off global light usually and just flick through these and you know see really what looks best <coughs> obviously we're going for a little trim around the outside uh, so you don't want anything with like submerges it black like that because that completely defeats the whole object uh, so something like something like this one here would do and obviously you can change it all the way here if you put it all the way down I think this works yep there you go you can put it all the way down and obviously you can just increase the size increase the soften and obviously you can change these to whatever you whatever you will really you can change it from down all different options just to kind of make it more customizable because you don't want everyone with the same buttons obviously you can change your colors and everything and it'll really look a lot different as well with these colors like the white you can change the white to a red should you will or green if you really wanted to go for that if you kind of color scheme incorporated two different colors uh, but I'm gonna stick with the white maybe just a little bit of pink just a little tint in there like so and there we have it I'm pretty sure that is our logo uh, looking nice and done obviously one final thing I would say is this little kind of twinkle uh, I'm not sure what to call it kind of blemish on the top we're just going to do this and again you can use brushes for this you can make your own you can download your own uh, but some people might not have these the, like for example the one on the back the uh, actual base layer the little starburst kind of effect that is you wouldn't be able to make that that is pretty much only come from a brush however these people that might not have that uh, benefit obviously we're just going to draw out kind of an ellipsis rough shape here obviously using the color white transform it up there roughly okay maybe just a little bit smaller like so and simply we'll just add an outer glow blend mode to normal and the color to white and we'll just increase the size just a tad and the spread as well so it softens up the edges so it's not just uh, clear cutting from the actual ellipsis and the glow so it gives it more of a fade effect obviously uh, getting these values just right it's somewhat of an art in my, in my eyes it can be quite tricky uh, but you get there eventually I'm gonna leave it at that we can obviously tone down the opacity to about 70 ish like so maybe just make it a little bit narrower if you will you know, that's, that's hard because you've already uh, rotated it but anyway this is creating the social media icon you can use text here use the same effects as the Twitter logo uh, just follow the stages come up with some really cool button designs I think that's really good in fact one thing before I go I'm gonna merge these two layers because um, it is getting on my nerves and quite frankly looks quite unprofessional uh, so bear with me here merge these two uh, reflections at the bottom I'm just gonna to go to the rubber and just delete around the outside so you can't see them again if you go over and onto uh, the actual logo it doesn't really matter because it's the outside it's not the effect where you actually pick up the reflection uh, where you notice the reflection is along these lines here so that's alright but anyway they're gone now looking good go ahead and put it on your website put it on your YouTube background um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this tour guys it's been a while I want to get back on track uh, hope this helped it's five months too late but better late than never as I was uh, uh, brought up to believe but anyway thanks for watching this video I've been Connor with Chrome Designs and I'll see you guys soon bye